magical and metaphysical properties of Mossa Gate. Mossa Gate is a rather lovely form of chalcedony, which includes various minerals of shades of green, such as chlorite or hornblende, within the stone in patterns and forms that really does look like gorgeous green moss, hence its name. Technically, where the chalcedony is clear, the stone is then known as mossagate, and when the chalcedony is white and opaque, then the stone is known as triagate. Both mossagate and triagate share many of their magical and metaphysical properties, although there are a few notable differences. Mossagate is a mineral that was formed from weathered volcanic rocks and can be found in many countries across the globe, including India, Australia, Brazil, Uruguay, Armenia, Hungary, Scotland and the USA, particularly around the Yellowstone area, and in Yemen in the, near the city of Mocha, hence its name in the ancient world of Mocha stone. Mossagate is one of my very favourite stones and you'll always find me wearing at least one piece, usually my lovely flower shaped pendant made from this gorgeous green stone. It's a perennially popular stone with those of us who love and work with the natural world, with trees, plants, herbs and the deities of nature, such as green witches, druids, herbalists, gardeners, conservationists, environmentalists, naturalists and others. There are many deities and fairy beings associated with Mossagate, especially those connected to nature, forests and plants, such as the Green Man and Green Lady, the Celtic god known as Hern or Canunos, and the goddess Garnet Carnantina, the Greek Dryads, the Romano-Celtic Viridios, the Irish Flade, the French Arduina, after whom the Ardennes Forest is named, the Maori Tanamahuta, and the Finnish Maori couple of forest deities Tapio and Mailiki. Working with Mossagate connects us to these ancient deities and enables us to communicate with and learn from them. If you'd like to know more about the fairies linked with Mossagate, please check out my book, Fairy Stones. There's a link in the description below. Just looking at a piece of this stone gives you a little window into the green world of nature. Mossagate literally contains the wisdom, power and energies of nature and makes it accessible to those who truly love and care for nature in all its forms. Mossagate reminds us that we're part of nature, not above it or outside of it. We are as wild as nature herself, and we were born to live in harmony with its cycles and energies. It's no coincidence that in many mythologies from around the world, the first people were created from trees, such as the Askra and Embla from North Sejant, who were made from the Ash and Elm respectively, and Masha and Mashana from Persian mythology. With many of us now living in lifeless concrete jungles, working with Mossagate can help us to reconnect to nature and our true selves. It can help us to carry the energies of the wild forests, magical herbs and green fields within us, emotionally and spiritually, even when there's no green in sight. It also urges us to make that effort to go to green places, such as parks and woodlands, to support rewilding, replanting and regreening projects, and to bring greenery into our lives in the forms of houseplants and herbs on the windowsill for the sake of our well-being. As a green stone, Mossagate is closely linked with the heart chakra, so it urges us to engage with nature via our hearts and souls. It's the perfect stone for tree huggers and tree lovers everywhere. It can help us to find a good balance between our hearts and minds, which quite often are pulling us in completely different directions. Mossagate has long been considered a stone of healing, especially for troubles of the heart and soul. Traditionally, Mossagate was reputed to be good for our heart, blood and our circulation, to be anti-inflammatory, cleansing and good for the immune system. It calms the mind, soothes the soul and brings a sense of well-being to us, no matter how healthy or how sick we are. It's also a great stone for all the chronic and deadly illness worries out there, and I do speak from experience here, as Mossagate brings strength and courage, combats stress and can help us to overcome all sorts of challenges, because it's an optimistic stone that, with that touch of attitude that helps us to keep going and stay positive. As nature is constantly changing with the seasons, Mossagate is great for helping us through the changes that life throws at us, wherever, whatever form they may come in and wherever they come from. It guides us to become more in tune with nature's energies, with the energies of the seasons, the weather and our immediate environment. It can also help you to better understand your own constantly changing energies and emotions. It urges us to appreciate the beauty of the world around us, to appreciate and recognise the soul of nature, the soul of the trees and the souls of the people and the creatures who all live here alongside us. Like other stones, Mossagate is a stone of fertility and abundance. It was once known as the gardener's stone, for many gardeners and herbalists like to place some Mossagate stones too close to their plants to encourage abundant and healthy growth, and it encourages fairies who love to help care for our plants too. It helps us to communicate with and learn from our plants so that we can take better care of them and they, magically and medicinally, can take much better care of us. When selecting herbs for use in a spell or for a tea or for a specific issue, some green witches will use a pendulum made from Mossagate to help make their selection. In modern feng shui, Mossagate is associated with the east sector, which represents health, and the southeast sector, which represents wealth. Both of these are ruled by the element of wood. Many modern witches also love to use Mossagate for health and wealth, especially in their spell work, so they're often used in sachets or charm bags along with the herbs that they get on so well with. 
As a stone of nature, it's also linked with the concept of growth, especially personal growth and development. And Mossergate reminds us that life is a journey, along the way of which we're always learning, always growing and always changing. Wherever you are in life, whatever you're doing, Mossergate will help you to adapt and to find inner harmony. In modern magic, Mossergate is associated with the element and planet of Earth, the wood element and with the heart chakra. It is the birthstone for those born in the months of May and June and for those born under the sign of Gemini. It's closely allied with all of the plant kingdom, which includes the trees, and of course the moss, to whom it is most closely associated. Is Mossergate one of your favourites? Has it helped you on your spiritual path? How has it inspired you? Let us all know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.